They have just one hour to cook a two-course meal of their own design. Tell me what you're actually cooking for us today. For starter, I'm going to do um, a sea bass, just pan-fried, and that's going to sit on some braised fennel. Then I'm going to do a vanilla sauce and some langoustines as well. Vanilla sauce? Yes. Louise, do you have a style of cooking? Because you cook at home all the time. Yeah. Can you define your style of cooking? I just tend to do traditional. I'm a bit old-fashioned. And... Vanilla sauce, traditional? If I read it on a menu, it wouldn't be going anywhere near my mouth. I just wouldn't touch it. I mean, Louise has the base of what could be an extraordinary dish. There's some beautiful flavours there already. Is there really a need for Louise to put vanilla in a sauce? International cook Carvey has made a king prawn Thai coconut soup. Then Weeping Tiger, a Thai-style steak on stir-fried noodles. These are big strips of ginger in here, is that right? They are, yeah. Wow. And big strips of chilli. I like the heat of the chilies. I like the depth of that flavour. I love the, the texture of those prawns and that creamy soup. I like it all, a lot, because that's my type of food. <laughs> I quite like the heat of the chilli. I quite like the taste of the ginger. Well, let, let's move on to your main course of Weeping Tiger. <laughs> let's see how we go. I've got to say, for me, after having that great flavoured soup, I was expecting that to be a really fresh, seared piece of beef with lovely, juicy noodles, mm. and it's not delivering that right now. I'm sorry, Carvey, it looks very amateurish to me. I think if I'd have been out all day in the cold and I came home and you gave me this, I'd love you for it. But as a dish to get you through a kunky competition, it doesn't match up to your starter. And this is something I've, I've been doing for a long time and, like I said before, everybody loves it. So I'm shocked and obviously a little bit disappointed. Phil has created wild mushrooms and quail's egg with spinach and a roasted garlic dressing. And for his main, he's done an almond-crusted hake with broad bean puree and salsa verde. But will his small errors cost him big? How Ooh. are you, Phil? Um, a bit stressed. I kind of lost track of the time towards the end, so I just kind of rushed it all, plating it up, and not really had time to check seasonings and everything. Very meaty mushrooms, the soft spinach and the garlic dressing, but you are right about your timing and you should have checked your seasoning. Such a shame, because I think, actually, it's a really good dish, and with a little tweak, it would have been magical. The textures are great, but it's a shame with your seasoning, but I, I do really, really admire your style. Cheers. Let's talk about your hake dish as well. Hake, a fish which is underused. It's such a shame, it's a beautiful fish. Crisp almonds, lovely fish, wonderful broad beans, and unfortunately, again, we don't have the seasoning. Yep. It's a bit flat. Yep. I think it's a very, very good puree. I love the texture. Sweetness of the peas, crunch of the onion. I think you've got some very, very nice ideas. Very, very nice ideas. Louise has made sea bass on poached fennel with a vanilla sauce. Then a main course of pan-fried venison with mash, roasted beetroots and wilted spinach. I can tell you now, I would eat the whole lot if there wasn't a bit of banana in it. My biggest problem is, as soon as that food hits my mouth, before it even goes in there, the fragrance, the perfume of that vanilla knocks out the centre of my palate. Gone. And that doesn't allow me to taste the food. It's not working, okay. and it's not working for me at all. Can we move on from your sea bass and custard to your venison with roasted beetroot and garlic? I think you've got some very, very nice ideas. I think the venison is, is lovely. I think the mashed potato is beautifully smooth. That, to me, smacks of a very honest and confident cook. Earthy beetroot, distinctive flavour of venison, lovely creamy mash, great textures. I can see in you something which says you can really cook.